it's yours my girl take it easy <laughs> Hi beautiful people and welcome back to our Mira Lewis moments in time. So I know that it has been a while since we have done a chit chat video and don't worry more vlogs are coming. Your girl was done with the flu. It was Demate me. It wanted to tussle. We were wrestling like real bad. It was bad. But I am feeling a little better now and so I decided that since I am taking the time to be home and to make sure that I am not contagious <laughs> and not going out amongst other people, let's, you know, let's talk. Um, and so, yeah, today we're just going to talk. But before we get into what, like, this conversation piece and what's going through my mind, please subscribe share with a friend so they can subscribe share with someone else so they can subscribe i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers okay please thank you so lately um the, the pressure, pressure has been getting, getting worse, worse. <laughs> like the tiktok the pressure has been like really heavy for me um and it's particularly because this year i will be getting 25 Yay. in august yay shout out to my leos the best month period anyways i'll be getting 25 in august and lately i've been feeling um a certain level of pressure a certain level to achieve certain things um growing up i would hear a lot of stories you know from the the older generation about them being married by 22 i'm um, having a house by 24 having a family by 25 who was already way ahead in their career blah 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 right and that kind of stuff and then moving forward i know that time is relevant you know and it and everybody's journey is different but i have been feeling like for example even within my friend group i have been feeling a little behind um, yes, I am a very career-driven person and as a result, um, things such as academia, um, work, things that have to do with career and my brand have taken up most of my lifespan, I feel. And as a result of that, I have not given much thought to other things, I would say. Um, as it pertains to romantic relationships and, and things of that nature, right? And so, hearing my friends, or even not just in romantic relationships, but even basic things such as traveling. This summer, I feel I have traveled the most. And it's been such a unique experience for me. And it has been such an eye-opening and a beautiful experience being in a foreign country not really um knowing spanish but not feeling like my spanish was the best because i lost a lot of it um and having to work my way back up and then just being around people who have achieved so much young people such as myself who have achieved so much like going on these different tours and meeting um 24 year old OBGYNs or 25 year old um financial analysts who are making six figures and you know have all these things in place and i feel like damn i'm 24 getting getting up to 25 and i feel like i'm just beginning to walk in my power and i feel like i'm just beginning to realize who i fully am the the power that i possess I, I'm just beginning to fully conceptualize and put into place the type of brand that I want for myself Whether it be in the YouTube space or in the public health space I have just started putting down block by block to become the person or the career woman that I want to be and so seeing other people and not just other people but specifically other women of color um, who look like me um, who sound like me, who have similar dreams and ambitions as myself, 
achieve so much is particularly on social media makes me feel like oh my god am i behind is there something that i'm not doing um is there something that i need to do to position myself to achieve the dreams that i want to achieve and so that has been making me feel pressured you know and in feeling pressured i have been ex i have experienced a certain level of discontentment and frustration with myself and with my life and I my theory is basically that because I am an overachiever and I have put so much weight on my achievements and what I have done as opposed to who I am that stresses me out sometimes and even in journaling and introspection I've realized that um, I need to more continuously redefine myself in relation to who I am and my core beliefs and values as opposed to what I have achieved or the school that I went to or the, the diploma that I have or the, the, the work that I have published or, or things of that nature, right? And oftentimes we put so much weight on what we do and what our titles are as opposed to who we are. I'm a loving person, I am confident, I am ambitious, I am beautiful in mind, heart, soul, body, the, just the whole package. And so I'm learning lately, especially with this experience of traveling and so forth, and meeting other women of color, to just be happy and content with where I am, because I am in fact not behind my gen, and I'm I say this all the time to myself, my journey is mine, but many times I don't really believe it, right? How often do we actually believe that, you know, that time is relative and everybody's achieving things at their or own rate and at our own speed and blah, 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 right? We say that so often and it becomes cliche, but really and truly, everyone's time is relative and what I have seen my peers achieve um, there are certain circumstances that have propelled them to where they are at a quicker rate than I. For example, I came from the Caribbean and then I moved to the US for undergrad. And after undergrad, I had to work for one year and save, save, save. And even then after saving, I still did not save enough money um, to go to, to get my master's degree. And so I then I had to, you know, get a loan and all these other things that play a key role in getting me to the into the MPH program that I am in today. And there's so many moments in between where I felt like you're not doing enough. You're not doing enough. You need to do more. You should you need to have at least 10k in a savings by now. What's wrong with you? Um you should have a bigger apartment by now. What's wrong with you? You should have a bigger job by now. What's wrong with you? But girl, take it easy. Chebe bricks. <laughs> Hold your bricks. What is mine is mine. What is yours is yours. Nothing can take that or remove that from you. It's yours, my girl. Take it easy. <laughs> That's how I have to talk to myself because I really find myself in these moments where I'm hammering down what everyone else is doing and I'm learning to just be content. And it has been such a struggle. Oh my God. It has been a struggle. But I am finally at a place where I have learned to be content and just me thinking on like as I get closer to 25 realizing that yes there are things that I definitely want to achieve but it's not like I'm just sitting you know just sitting down and relaxing and just you know chilling I'm putting in the work and I'm sure you are too and I think we are so hard on ourselves and we need to actually learn to applaud for ourselves when we've been doing well literally this morning i said to myself you work hard baby girl and not just hard but i lately you've been working smart too 
why don't you give yourself a pat on the back as opposed to bringing your own self down the words that you speak are powerful the words that you speak over yourself are very powerful they define what's gonna happen next right and so lately i've been speaking so positively over myself and over my ambitions because yes i want the house yes i want the career yes i want the family yes i want all of these beautiful things i want the wonderful um youtube career i want the wonderful mph career um i want the beautiful home i want the car i want the, the world traveling i want it all you know i can have it all period okay But I can have it all, but I will also take me time to get there. And I just want to encourage you, if you're in that place, it will take us time. If you're hearing my neighbors, I apologize. But yes, it will take us time, but we will get there. And that's all I have to say today. We'll get there. JB Bricks. Right? Nibu by us. <laughs> if you're from St. Lucia, don't be the guy you know. <laughs> but like for real, for real, for real, for real. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. Because as the poet Summer Walker said, she said, What you in a rush for? Are you trying to meet your maker, darling? Oh, you running out of time, huh? But listen, time ain't even real. You really need to chill. It's all an illusion. You get it mixed up in the future. Whatever it is you're trying to see, you should just sit down and breathe and breathe so today i want to encourage you to breathe almira breathe my beautiful friend breathe we got this thank you so much for coming to another chit chat session i hope you have a wonderful day evening whatever time it is love you guys thank you